Coburn Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 34, Truth. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 34.8 Does the eye in the red alcove see things as does the mortal eye of man? Or are things different there at the window of truth? NPR 34.9 Truth and perfection unite in one. And neither is to be found in purity on earth. Yet, though man desire truth, when she stands before them, they see her not. For the colored glass of illusion veils nothing as much as it veils truth. NPR 3410 Truth is the cupbearer of the true God, and pours out full measure to those who uphold his decrees. At some time... In their lives, the call comes to all men to bear witness to truth as they see it. NPR 3417 O oh, majestic truth, what wickedness is wrought in your fair name? What pain you suffer at the mouths of hypocrites and deceivers, where so often a fragment of truth is built into the fabric of a great falsehood. The colored red glasses are when we want something so bad. However, we know to grasp it is wrong. We then do all we can to find a way to allow us to act. The usual tactic is to make it sound like it is for others. Then you can do it based on altruism and not selfishness. It is not reality, but because we want it, we are less willing to expose the lie for what it is. The only way to know your actions are pure is when you have nothing to gain by your actions.